Bob Dylan's cultural impact is extraordinary, but his formative roots come from the music of the 1950s. Blues and rock and roll created new audiences and revolutionized the music marketplace. Elvis Presley and Buddy Holly were a huge influence. So were many groups, including Pete Seeger and the Weavers, who had picked up the mantle of protest singer from Woody Guthrie, proving that there was a hunger for folk music. No one showed more how deep and transformative folk music could be than the Kingston Trio. I think they were having a blast. If they weren't, they could have fooled they me. Weren't, they weren't hooked up to wires either. No, they had really. one microphone and they and, just and, started and, and, singing. And, and. When I finally got my ticket in my hand to actually go see them live, I mean, I was jumping up and down. I couldn't wait. They did so many folk ballads, story songs, and they really introduced America to part of America's uh, heritage. They burst onto the scene with the traditional folk ballad as sad as it could be and became an immediate success. Well, it's such a pleasant tune, and then there's such a tragic story. It's this combination which makes some of the great art. Oh boy, you're bound to die. The Kingston Trio were the perfect act for the times. I mean, they changed the industry. They literally changed the way things were done. When he got there, the conductor told him one more nickel. Charlie couldn't get off of that train. Songs came out of Broadway or Hollywood. The Kingston Trio found you didn't have to go through Hollywood or Broadway. They were the first act that really popularized what was this folk sound in a way that, that could be acceptable to everybody. But did he ever return? No, he never returned. The trio's music was so powerful and so energetic and so intelligent and so deceptively simple. You think it's three chord stuff, but their arrangements were so precise and so intelligently arranged, and those harmony parts were so intricately stacked. Their music captured a generation yearning to define a new identity. The Kingston Trio really opened doors. They showed us that it was accessible, and you could do it and have great fun. Where have all the young girls gone? Arlo Guthrie, he figures there's a stream of songs flowing past us all the time, and you just have to know when to reach out and grab it. He just says, I'm just glad I don't live down the stream of Bob Dylan.